Hi guys, welcome back to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best diagnostic scan tools and scanners for BMW and mini cars in 2021 and 2022. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which of these tools I would personally choose given my 15 years experience in the field. Now I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the video description and in the pinned comment section. So please be sure to follow those links as they will take you to genuine and official products. Fakes and clones do exist, so please be very careful. Now I'm going to start with my ch the cheapest tool, working my way up to the most expensive tool. And what you'll generally find is that the most expensive product will give you the most functionality. But that's not to say that the cheapest product won't do exactly what you need. It's all about finding a tool that has the most uh, suitable sort of functionality um, for your level, your experiences, your circumstances and requirements, I guess. Uh, so we're going to start with the BMM version 1.0 tool. Now uh, this tool, as I say, is suitable for BMW and mini cars. And this is going to allow you to cover and diagnose and reset warning lights for the main systems in your vehicle. So if you've got, for example, an airbag light, a check engine light, an ABS or DSC warning light, uh, transmission or service reset uh, warning message, then this tool is going to be uh, suitable. It's, it, it is classed as an all system scan tool, so it all really depends on what systems are installed into your vehicle. But ultimately, you're always going to get access to the main systems, which, as I say, engines, airbags, ABS, and transmission. In some cases, you know, if you have air suspension, it will read air suspension faults. It will also do things like parking sensors if they are installed into the vehicle. So that's the BMM version 1.0. We then move on to the BMM version 2.0 kit. Now, this kit will do everything that this kit will do but this has additional functionality so the additional functionality uh, comes in the way of service functions or special functions as they're also known so the special functions in this tool uh, will also do the oil service reset but it will also do the electronic parking brake um, reset and calibration dpf reset and regeneration injector coding abs brake bleeding electronic throttle reset steering angle sensor and new battery registration and reset so as i say this one will do everything that this one plus additional this one does cost a little bit more we then move on to the iCost of EU Pro Kit. You'll see that these three kits kind of look the same, but they just have a little bit different software inside. So the EU Pro Kit will do everything that both of these tools will do, but obviously these two will do it for BMW and mini vehicles. This tool will do all of that for European manufacturers. So if you've got a BMW or a Mini, and you also have, I don't know, a Mercedes, a VW, an Audi, uh, a Vauxhall, uh, a Volvo to look after, then this tool will cover those European manufacturers as well. Doesn't do the supercars like Aston Martin or Ferrari, Lamborghini, etc. Uh, so then we move on to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. Um, the CR Pro Kit, again, covers everything that all of these do, but this kit covers European manufacturers, it covers uh, Asian manufacturers, and it covers the American manufacturers as well. So the Asian manufacturers might include Honda, Nissan, Mitsubishi, uh, Suzuki, Subaru, Mazda, uh, you name it, Toyota, etc. So this one will do all of the makes and models, uh, worldwide that is. Uh, and then we move on to the Autel Maxicom MK80A kit. This is the most expensive. It does have the most functionality. Obviously, this kit will do everything that all of these kits will do. However, this does have additional manufacturer coverage. So it covers a lot of Chinese models as well, whether that is going to be suitable for you or not, probably not. Um, it does cover a few Lamborghini cars um, and a few other European makes and models that aren't covered in these. Again, though, it doesn't do the supercars, unfortunately. Um, we do have other kits for those. But this will ultimately do, whereas these kits will do eight special functions, as I mentioned earlier, this kit has up to 25 special functions. So yes, this will do all of your DPF regeneration, all of your uh, steering angle sensors, battery registration, but this kit also does things like gear learning, suspension calibration, um, and a lot, lot more. So this is probably more suited to somebody who uh, maybe has a bit of experience or maybe has like a small garage or workshop or, you know, doesn't really know what kind of car they'll be dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. So they need to have the, the best tool available um, based on whatever's gonna come through the door and for them to work on. So, you know, if you've got a small garage workshop, 
um, this is probably the best for you. That's not to say though, if you are a DIYer, um, you know, you can jump straight in at the deep end. It's a good learning tool. It has lots of resources on, so you know, they're, they're all, it's a fantastic tool, but you do pay a bit more. Which of these tools would I choose personally? Um, if it was down to me and I was a DIYer um, with you know, no experience or maybe I had a little bit of experience and I just wanted to look after my family cars or my own vehicles, I would go for the iCarsoft CR Pro. It's a good level of diagnostics. It gives you good vehicle coverage. It gives you good uh, system coverage and special functions as well. Um, so for the price you pay for this tool, I would say this is probably the best value tool on the market right now. But I haven't put prices in these because prices are subject to change. Um, but please click the links in the description below this video. They will take you to the genuine listings. Um, and if you do have any questions about these products, then please uh, give Diagnostic World a shout. The email address is in the description below as well. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time.